Welcome to the second annual virtual Indaba African Ball. My name is Gloria Miller, and I'm the Special Events Director at St. Anne's Center for Intergenerational Care. We truly wish we could be partying in person, but we're happy that everybody is staying safer at home. The Andava Band Shell was built on the grounds of St. Anne Center's Besiris campus to provide a place for local artists to showcase their talents and to bring family-friendly entertainment to the community. The Band Shell also welcomes arts groups from throughout Milwaukee and southwest, southeastern Wisconsin to our neighborhood. Today, we're getting ready together to raise funds to support our upcoming Summer of Outstanding Band Shell Entertainment. So get ready for plenty of music, dance, heartwarming stories, and a salute to Black History Month that highlights the flavors and fashions of Africa. Donating to the Bandshell fundraiser is easy. Just go to stannecenter.org slash ball donation. That's s-t-a-n-n-center.org slash ball donation. Let's get started with a look at some of the exciting entertainment that has come to the Andaba Band Shell stage since its grand opening two years ago. Enjoy. Twenty was a difficult year, filled with postponements and cancellations. In fact, our first annual Indaba African Ball held last February was the only in-person special events St. Anne Center hosted in 2020. So let's take a look back at that ball and an eye-catching fashion show featuring many of our guests. Look closely and see if you recognize any familiar faces.
The Andaba African Ball is a perfect kickoff for Black History Month. And a very special part of it is the recognition of some modern day history makers from our own Milwaukee community. We will be honoring these people here and in a hall of history makers display at both of our St. Anne Center campuses. This year, we're highlighting eight honorees from our community. Let me introduce you to some of them. Venus Williams is the executive director of Alice's Garden Urban Farm, one of Milwaukee's largest community gardens and curator of Kujichakulia Producers Cooperative, a collective of 16 local entrepreneurs. Reggie Jackson is an award-winning journalist, speaker, researcher, and expert on the history of our country's racial hierarchy. The co-founder of Nutrient Diversity Partners, he serves as a race relations consultant for major media internationally. Yvonne McCaskill works tirelessly to educate urban neighborhoods on environmental stewardship and to create more green spaces and infrastructure. She is the coordinator for the Century City Triangle Neighborhood Association. Katina Shaw is Vice President of Community Relations and Family Liaison for the Milwaukee Brewers. She creates such programs as Beyond the Diamond, the Brewers Volunteer Outreach Initiative. To truly celebrate our culture, we must include food, such as delectable African and Caribbean dishes. Here to tempt our taste buds is St. Anne Center's favorite chef, Sedana Wilson, owner of Events by Day Catering. Sedana and guest chef Zeb Allen will demonstrate how to make an African dish that's a staple in many households, jollof rice. Hello everyone, my name is Sedana. I'm Chef of the Cyrus Campus and also starring for St. Anne Center. I would like to welcome you all to our Endeavor Ball, and we'll be making our famous jollof rice with my assistant here, Chef Zeb. Yes, how you doing? I'm Zeb, and I'll be showing you the, the ingredients. Right here we have the ingredients. You have the red onions, which is uh, an important part of the process because they give off a nice flavor. Um, we have a substitute with the romaine tomatoes and most of the old tomatoes, but it all works the same. Um, we got a puree paste, um, also thyme, also olive oil, also bay leaves, and also chicken cubes, which would be a chicken stock. Also, make sure you wash your rice two or three times before so it won't be starchy. Um, the next step, make sure you cut your onions, peppers, and your bonnet peppers, and also we will be blending those here. Here we have the tomatoes, which you blend up to make the puree. Also, we will be adding the red onions, the garlic peppers, and green peppers. Um, this will make this is like a key step into the process. Oh, you got the pot hot? Hot enough. Yeah. It's the olive oil. Put some down so it's descend into soft and tender. Second step process. Next process, you want to grab some tomato paste. Let that cook off. After you let your onions cook for a minute. Yeah. Let it cook off for a minute. Get a bitter taste. Make sure 
middle thing will be repeated. Do you add your stock, your choice of chicken or or veggie, and a little bit of water? Why do I like Jollof rice? For the tasty spice of blends of the green peppers, the onions, the bread of the tomato. Put it on a low temp. Let it simmer. Come back. Mm -hmm. uh, 15 minutes? Yeah, about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. It's very flavorful. It adds festive to any meal. Holiday, birthday, Christmas, New Year, Thanksgiving. It's a wonderful side dish. And it also is a part of my heritage. I'm not from West African, but I'm African American. And it's good, good, good for the culture. It's also a great dish for vegetarians. You can also prepare it with chicken stock or vegetable stock or goat or such, such, such many more flavors. But this cuisine is not only healthy, it's nutritious and it's great to serve anyone. Thanks, Chef Sedena and Chef Zab. I guarantee many of us will be making your delicious jollof rice for our families. Now let's meet a few more Hall of History Makers honorees. Pastor Ali Taylor and First Lady Sandra Taylor lead a vibrant ministry at Hopewell Missionary Baptist Church. Their Beyond the Four Walls ministry includes a youth training program, food pantry, clothing bank, and backpack drive. James E. Causey is an award-winning projects writer for the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, covering such topics as employment, housing, eviction, incarceration, mentoring, urban youth, and racism. He co-hosts Black Nouveau on PBS. Sheriff Ernell R. Lucas is the 65th Sheriff of Milwaukee County. With an extensive career in law enforcement, he served the Milwaukee Police Department for 25 years, retiring at the rank of Captain. Prior to being elected Sheriff, he served as Major League Baseball's Chief Liaison of Security and Investigations for the National Association of Professional Baseball Leagues. Sheriff Lucas is committed to restoring honor, integrity, and trust to law enforcement in Milwaukee County by treating everyone with dignity and respect. Adekola Aridapo is an award-winning vocalist, actor, dancer, and storyteller devoted to promoting cultural arts and community activism. As an educator in Milwaukee Public Schools, she inspired children of color to value creativity. St. Anne's Center for Intergenerational Care is an all-ages daycare and a trailblazer in programming that brings people of different generations together under one welcoming roof. Often, the children, adult clients, and staff at St. Anne's Center join members of the community and enjoying the many activities held at the band shell. Next up, we have a fun African fashion show put together by our staff, children, and clients. Then St. Anne Center's president, Sister Etna, will introduce you to the very first performer on the Andaba Band Shell stage.
So Jamaria, come on up here. All right. Another wonderful person is DJ. He's our nine-year-old little after-school student. And this powerful little guy has a great voice. And Benita, his wonderful teacher, has recognized it and invited him to sing, oftentimes when people visit the classroom. This amazing child, in second. And so she invited me to come and hear him, and I did. And tears were rolling down my face. It was so, so beautiful. And I said, why did he open our new band shell on June 7th? Well, what an opening. The day came, he had been practicing and practicing, and and uh, got up on the stage in his new suit and he was going to sing and um, he opened his mouth and the words wouldn't come out. And oh, we all felt so bad. But no, nope, not his great grandmother. She walked up on the stage and she took her powerful warm hands and she put them on DJ's shoulder and DJ started to sing. And sing and sing his little heart out. And he sang the Whitney Houston song, No Greater Love. And he came to the point where he said, No one, no one will ever take away my dignity. And there is no greater love than the love from within. Wow, awesome. It's DJ's first time on stage and he gets a standing ovation. That's the kind of magic that happens at the Andava Band Shell. On behalf of all of us at St. Anne Center, thank you so much for joining us. We're very excited about the amazing program we have planned for the Band Shell this summer and can't wait to share it with you and the Milwaukee community. We truly appreciate your support of the Andava African Ball Fundraiser and please remember, it's never too late to donate. You can help make 2021 an unforgettable year of family entertainment by donating at stannecenter.org slash ball donation. Everyone's contribution is so important. I'd like to say a special thank you to our sponsors, Advocate Aurora, the All of Us Research Program, Park Lawn Assembly of God Church, St. John's on the Lake Senior Living Community Grandma Book. We also thank the great performers who entertained us today. Bobby Giles and the Night and Day Band, Christopher's Project, the Milwaukee Youth Symphony Orchestra Still Band Drum Ensemble, the Milwaukee Ballet's Ballet Beat Dancers, Sister Kevin Karimi and Sister Lucy Marindani. If you're visiting St. Anne in February, Remember to look for our Hall of History Makers honorees in the lobby of our campuses. In the Swahili language, the word Ndaba refers to a gathering to talk and create a common story for the whole village to share. The Ndaba Band shall invite you to join the story of the revitalization of Milwaukee's North Side through showcasing its beautiful art, dance, and music. Good night and we look forward to seeing you soon at the Andaba Band Shell. Bye. But wait, 
It isn't over. Check out some of our bloopers. Hope you'll enjoy them. Have a good night. Say something. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Tyler and Sharon. Go. Welcome to the... <laughs> Stop. Welcome to the second annual virtual African and... <laughs> what, do you, what do you want me to just cut it off with? Uh -huh. When I'm cooking, I just, I'm like him. I don't be want to be distracted. Can't talk. Together. So you like don't want to talk, do you? No. <laughs> he not know. <laughs> I was going to say, don't give him a feet. <laughs> uh, he just got stuck, so.